Hi, myself Rastala Adam, currently studying in final year BPT in Nethazi College of Physiotherapy. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the management of synkinesis that happens because of the Bell's palsy, that is mime therapy. So basically, mime is a format of performance art which uses facial expression as a tool to communicate a story without using any word. So what does this mime therapy exactly comprises of? Now the principle of mime therapy or it's the basis on which the mime therapy program is designed is first breeding. According to mime therapy principles, breeding impairment can affect your facial expression. Hence, if there is tension that present in any part of the body, it will definitely affect the tension on facial muscles and thus the face will look more asymmetrical compared to the body who is more relaxed. The second principle of mime therapy is articulation. According to mime therapy, the facial muscles have a lot of expressive possibilities. Different level, different degree of facial movement, at what intensity it is performed and at what speed it is performed determine how the entire facial expressive changes accordingly. I'll give you a small example of this. Whenever we try to pull the corner of the mouth in a very fast way, the expression is different compared to the when we are pulling the corners of the mouth in a gentle manner. Just see the difference when I was doing fast, my face looks more scary, anxious, but at the same time, if I'm doing the same movement gradually, then my face looks a little bit worried, sad. So some movement, but different expression has been created by changing the frequency and intensity or the muscles contraction. So that's the basis of mind therapy as well. The third principle of mind therapy is alertness and awareness of direction of movement. And the fourth principle of mime therapy is to improve the communication skill of a person. The entire goal of mime therapy is to improve your horizon of ability to communicate more effectively and more efficiently. Hence, in short, the aim of mime therapy is to improve the symmetry of the face at the same time reduce the synkinesis or hyperactive muscles. Now the question arises how it happens and how it is done. There are certain steps followed in the mime therapy. The first step of mime therapy, that's the basis of entire program and that's increasing patient education and awareness about his her condition, about the problem or the pathology behind this as well as about the prognosis or else to what extent the recovery can be expected following the episodes of the synkinesis using mime therapy. All this information is given even the patient starts with the therapy. After the second step of mime therapy is self massage of face. Yes, massage has been a lot of importance because massage helps to reduce tension in the synkinetic muscles, which is the biggest problem in synkinesis. The massage is done throughout the face along with the neck. After massage, the third point is breathing and relaxation exercise, which helps to reduce tension and increases symmetry of facial muscles. The fourth step is coordination exercise of face. So basically due to overactivity of certain group of muscles leads to lack of coordination of facial muscles and that's why we can see asymmetry whenever person is trying to do any kind of facial movement. Fifth exercise is eyes and lip closure exercise. Now there's the biggest problem of synkinesis that whenever a person tries to smile the eye closes or is whenever a person blinks the mouth moves. So there is an incoordination that's happening. So the training of mind therapy is very much focuses on improving the individuality at the movement which means with eye movement there should not be any mouth movement and with the mouth movement there should not be any eye movement. After that, the next step is later and old exercise. Definitely, synkinesis also affects the person's ability to speak and say. That's why training also includes teaching patients to pronounce later and letters in a way that it is sounded well, but the at the same time do not cause any kind of irritability, hyperexcitability or some kinetic changes. Seventh step is the expression exercise. This is the last step where the passion is taught to communicate through the expression by doing expression exercise at varied degree, varied intensity and a varied time. Now, how long this program lasts? Mind therapy is a long term program. It takes more than one year to see the beneficial result, but these benefits are super practical and are self-dependent. 
So this is not about complete treatment, but it's more about teaching patient the techniques, the strategies through which he can communicate more effectively and minimize the effect of sin kinesis. Mostly the mind therapy session lasts for 45 minutes, which can be initially first for 10 days continuously so that the patient learns all the seven steps of exercise in a correct manner. After the sessions are mostly weekly or monthly based on the need or severity of symptoms of the patients.